Now, really, what he's saying here is exactly what we've known Chris Nolan was doing. Uh, when he took on Batman, he had no interest in it. Uh, cool, he was saying this, and, and I, I didn't think that was anything for you, right? <laughs> and he was like, no, that's really exciting, because I've always thought there was a Batman story that hasn't been told on film. He did not even want to call the first movie Batman Begins, and he, he thought that the title of Batman was childish. That's why he made it The Dark Knight. Uh, he didn't want to portray it in this darker, dingier city that looked like Gotham the way it does in Batman Begins. He wanted more of a Chicago look. Which he inevitably got in the sequel. Essentially, he got hired for Batman Begins the same way Tim Burton did. He had rules he had to follow. And said, look, you know, this is what I want to do in the movie. This is how, what I want to do with it visually. This is where I think the character needs to go. I think it's going to be different than any superhero movie anybody's seen before. And what I really want to do is, like, take that genre and embrace it as a real film genre. I immediately started talking to him about the origin story. But... The difference is that he didn't really like Batman. That that's kind of you know pretty explanatory when you watch his movies, as he tends to focus on the villains more and tells a different Batman. It's definitely not the comic book version. Chris gave me a copy of The Dark Knight Returns when I was a kid. I think it was for my 13th birthday, and it just blew me away. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my God! Stop fucking lying! Now, him being dismissive of Ben Affleck as Batman in this new Batman series, I think speaks volumes to how he feels about it. And I don't think I have to tell you how he feels about it, because the fact he doesn't want to talk about it should tell you everything you need to know. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my god. Stop fucking lying.